Hey there, Sam from Bond Place Brewing here with your craft beer and brewing tip of the week. So we're talking about carbonation and perceived carbonation in beer. Traditionally, English styles are not very uh, highly carbonated. In fact, they're a little bit on the lower end. Something like Opus, the beer we're brewing today, we typically like to see about 2.5. That might even be a little bit high. Um, if we're doing a nitrogenated beer, it's very low. Uh, a cask beer, you typically see around two. Uh, and to say two, I mean volumes of, uh, that's volumes of CO2 dissolved in oxygen. Uh, so we have a chart here. The Zaman Nagel instrument is famous for being able to measure, uh, to measure dissolved CO2 in suspension. So what Josh is doing here is he's actually applying the Zaman Nagel to the, tank, the bright tank, our conditioning tank, which we carbonated through a stone, uh, a carbonation stone. You may do so at home or in your brewery with a uh, Spundig valve and uh, residual sugars. Uh, in our case, we force carbonate. So Josh is going to remove the plunger in the bottom of the Zom, and he's going to shake the living beer out of it, which he's currently doing. The beer is now no longer living. Josh is almost no longer living. And we're going to read our two gauges and it's pressure uh, versus temperature. If we look at our chart, uh, we're right on for that style of beer at 2.42 volumes of CO2. Um, on a New England style IPA, we're happy with that. Your preference, your customer's preference, your guest's preference is what's going to dictate how much CO2 you want in your beer. Traditionally, English style beers are a little bit on the lower end from anywhere from two to 2.5. Um, depending on the style and again preference. To learn more about what we do here at Bond Place Brewing and brewing in the English tradition, check out the link below.